Got Every day. Sweet by Charles Miles. How y'all doing? This is Charles with Everything Sweet. Okay? We're back in the kitchen. You know, we don't come on like we're back in the kitchen. Okay? We're in the kitchen. And today, for our dessert, it's a hot day here in Jackson, Mississippi. 86, 87 degrees. And we're going to make old-fashioned ice cream. Okay? And this is what you're going to need to get it up and running. Okay, we got eight eggs here. We got evaporated milk. We got four cans. We got condensed milk. We got two cans. We got two cups of granulated sugar. We got about four cups, four te teaspoons of vanilla extract. And we got four cups of, uh, you know, that milk you cereal with? That's what we got here. Okay, now, that's what you're going to need to get it up and running. Now, we're going to go ahead and put this thing together, okay? We're going to go ahead and put our eggs in our mixer. Y'all come on with me now. Don't look. We're getting our eggs in our mixer. And notice we got the wife whip on, okay? We're going to beat them eggs up for about three or four minutes. First gear, then we'll go uh, to second gear. Want to get a good beat on them, so they are yolks and white, you know, with Bind, combine together. Okay, our yolks and our whites combined together. We're gonna add our sugar. Sugar in here. We got two cups of sugar. This is going to make about six quarts. Now, if you don't need that much, you can cut the recipe in half. But we need that much, though. So it's going to be hot this summer. Just like I said, when I opened up, it was 86 degrees here in Jackson, Mississippi. And uh, we're just going to make enough, put it in the freezer, and when we need it, we'll have it. Okay? But if you don't need this much, just put the recipe in half. Instead of getting two, um, six quarts, you'll get three quarts, okay? Okay, the sugar in. We got two tablespoons of flour. This is strictly for sticking purposes. Add that in. Now we're gonna do a double ball on this thing, okay? We don't want nothing on direct heat, okay? Double ball. Right here we got our double ball. We got our water here going right now. And this is our second part we're gonna put in. It's gonna go in the water, nothing direct on, on direct the heat, okay? We got our four cups of our milk, our cereal milk, milk. We're gonna put that in. We got our heat on high, and when we start to, you know, get a little warm and you start seeing a little smoke coming, then we're going to add the rest of our ingredients to that. But we're going to come back over here. Get that flour and sugar mixed up well, okay? Okay, we're gonna straight that down. Make sure we get it all cooperated. Want all that mixed in together, okay? Yeah, like I said, we're gonna just do the sides, get the bottom too, okay? So, baby, we making ice cream, baby. You know, when you make ice cream, it normally don't last long. Like my wife, uncle, named Herbert, we got this recipe from him. Every time they have a family reunion or family get together, everybody knew her bringing ice cream, okay? Okay, we're gonna add our, our canned milk. That's 
two can, we're gonna let that mix. Two cans of condensed milk is going in now. Now, what we're doing, making a custard, okay? I know y'all don't know too much about this. But you got some old people around that used to make it this way. Man, they got hundreds of recipes for how to make ice cream, okay? Herbert, you make it the old-fashioned way. So that's okay. We're going to make it the old-fashioned way, too, D. Now, we'll come back three or four weeks later and show you how to make it without eggs, okay? You don't particularly like to do this in a double baller, you know. There's several other ways that you can make it ice cream without the eggs, okay? We're gonna let that mix about two or three minutes. We're gonna add our flavor to it. We got a half a teaspoon of salt going in now. Or half a teaspoon of salt. Little extract is going in now. Okay, we're gonna temper our uh, custard over here. We got this hot milk here. And we're gonna add it to our custard. Slow the time while the mix is mixing. Then we'll add the whole batch to the uh, hot milk over there. And tempering just simply means you're adding hot to the coal at your pay. So the eggs won't get cooked, okay? A little at a time, why it's still mixing. You don't want cooked eggs in your ice cream, okay? Okay? Now we're going to take the custard and add it to the milk. We're going to continue to stir it while we add it, okay? Custard to our milk, constantly stirring, make sure we don't get nothing lumped up, and we don't want no cookies. Stir this and try to get up to 170 degree Fahrenheit. If you don't have a thermometer, I'm gonna show you what to do if you don't have one, okay? Stay with me. Okay, we've been over here stirring yeah, about 15 minutes. You see that water boiling out now? That's when you definitely have to stay with it then. When your water's boiling on in the second pot or in the first pot, you have to stay with it. Make sure you don't want to cook it, you don't want to scotch it, you don't want to burn it. That's why you got it in double pots, and that's why you don't cook it over direct heat. Okay? Now we got our thermometer in. We're trying to see if it's going to be at 79. Right now we at 75. We want to try to make sure your eggs are cooked. Okay? That's all you're doing with this custard, making sure your eggs are cooked. 
Now, you don't kill nobody with eggs in that cup. Nah, I'll just be going to the bathroom a little regular, a little often than normal. So, you want to make sure your eggs are cooked at 79. You know, that's what temperature you're trying to reach, trying to get to. Okay? We're going to continue to stir. And when we get to 79, we'll be back. Okay, my thermometer reached 79. Now, if you don't have a thermometer, all you do is take a wood spoon. Take a wood spoon, stick it in your batch. You do like that. And it stays separated. Then you at the right temperature, okay? See that? I staying separated. It ain't coming back, okay? So basically what you're gonna all you wanna do is cook them eggs. And believe me, I believe them eggs don't want to cook this this pretty hot, okay? We done cut our we done cut our fire off. Now we're gonna take it off. Our fire. Fire's off. We're gonna take it out of the double ball and we're gonna put it in another container. And the reason we're doing that, we need for it to cool down now. It got to cool down completely before you put it in your fridge, okay? I mean completely cool. We're talking two, three, maybe four hours before it actually cool down, okay? Once it cooled down, then you put it in your fridge, okay? Then it got to stay in there for five, six hours. So normally this is a two-day two -day event. But you can cut corners a little bit if you start making your cups that morning. Let it cool down by 12 o'clock. 10 o'clock, you throw it in the fridge. 5 o'clock, should be them cooled down. The cooler your custard, the less time it's going to take your ice cream maker to make ice cream. So basically, that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get it cooled down so your ice cream maker won't take all day making your ice cream, okay? Once it cools down, you get in your ice cream maker, you're talking about 35, 40 minutes, 50 at the most, okay? And you're going to have ice cream, okay? Y'all stay with us. Don't go nowhere. Okay, we're coming out of our double boiler. We got a plastic container in here. We're going to pour our mix in here. The reason we get it out of the mellow pot because the mellow pot holds heat and we're trying to cool it down. Okay, so we're pouring it into a plastic container and it will set in this plastic container three to four hours or until it cools down. Okay? that out okay flashy scraper get all that out there okay we got a cup made now all we got to do is wait time it's cool we're gonna let it set you know two to three hours come back and you know test it seize it you know it's not hot. We don't want it hot at all. We want it completely cool, okay? Completely cool, we're going to put it in the fridge. Okay, that's a couple, you know, three, four hours in the fridge. Then we're going to take it out of the fridge, put it in ice cream, make and we're going to show you how we're going to assemble that, okay? So, don't go nowhere. It's going to be about four or five hours before you get back to you, but to you, it's only going to be split set. Okay? We'll see. Don't go nowhere. This our custard. It's cool now. It's been sitting out for about three hours. Now we're going into the fridge. We're going to put it in the fridge. And now let it set another 12 hours. Try to get completely cold. And from that step, we go to the ice cream maker baby. So when we come out of the fridge, you know, 12 hours later, uh, maybe 16 hours. There's no rush now once you get in the fridge and the, the, the fridge and it chills down. So we're going to let it set for about 12 hours in the fridge. When we come back, baby, we're going to be at the ice cream maker, okay? We'll see you then. How y'all doing? We're getting the canister. This is the canister for the ice cream. We got that in the fridge. We're cooling it off too, okay? Everything is being cooled off. Okay, if you're going to make... See how that thing stiffen up? That cup has been chilled up and stiffened up. We had it in the fridge for 16, 18 hours. When we got it this morning, we just throw it in the freezer for about, you know, 30 minutes to an hour. Make sure that thing is chilled. 
got some more of chills in here. The last time it's gonna take over here, okay? All right, we're gonna go ahead and fill this thing up. Well, we ain't gonna fill it up, but we definitely finna get started. Did I mention we were making an old fashioned ice cream? Baby, this is the old fashioned ice cream. Now, we're not gonna fill it all the way to the top. I think that's our line right there. Because as it freezes, it's going to expand. Oh, 12, okay? We got some in places. We got some in places that it didn't supposed to be. So we're going to take this and wash that off, okay? We're not supposed to be on top of that thing like that. All right. This is our top. We're going to put that on. I did say we were making old-fashioned ice cream, right? Baby, this is old-fashioned ice cream. We got an old-fashioned ice cream maker. Well, the ice cream maker ain't that bitter that old. We just bought this the other day from Walmart. But it's old-fashioned ice cream maker. Now, I understand they make them now where you can uh, uh, take them in your house, put that little thing, that little container, uh, in, the, in the freezer, freezer, and you freeze it for a minute. We're going to figure out how to work this thing in a minute. We're going to be right back, okay? Okay. All right. We got that on. Now we're going to put my ice and our salt in. Now what you want to do is rotate the ice and salt. Put that salt in. Put that first layer of ice in. I did that we were making old fashioned ice cream, right? Hey, buddy. <laughs> this is old fashioned, baby. Nobody. True people still do it like that. If you want good ice cream with a good custard, this is the way you do it. Talking recipe, you only use two ingredients to make ice cream, okay? See, I don't know whether they really, really had ice cream or not, but. Baby, up, and get it going. Anywhere from that, yeah, we figure anywhere from about 30, 30, 35 minutes. All right, we got it going. Got another layer of salt. Okay, now what you gotta keep doing is come back checking your ice and your salt. You probably gotta add some more ice. When you add some more ice, you gotta add some more salt. We figure this going in for about 35, 40 minute process. 35, 40 minutes, baby, we're gonna have ice cream. Ah, right, stay with us. Don't go away. How y'all doing, baby? We back. And guess what? We got old fashioned ice cream, baby. 35 minutes. I'm gonna take this out. Take the top off it. Look at that. Look at that, baby. That's old-fashioned ice cream, baby. Look at that. Now, this sauce, sir. You want a sauce, sir? 
That's where uh, my wife uncle bring it. He bring it and make it. And man, it don't go. It don't get a chance to go in the freezer. Man, everybody eat it just like this salt syrup. Look at that. Listen, I don't know all these fat, fast uh, ice cream thing. They got a salt one recipe. They use two things to make ice cream. Condensed milk and heavy cream, okay? Again, I saw a few other ones. They use three things. You want old-fashioned ice cream, baby. The way your mama used to make it. Grandmama used to make it. That's the way to go. Now, we're going to take the... Uh, the bat dash out, and we're gonna put it out in the fridge. In the freezer. We're gonna leave it in there a couple of hours so that so it can stiffen up, baby. But if you want to eat it directly after it gets finished, you got that soft serve ice cream, you can do that. Okay. Lord how much look, look how good that is. See it falling off that. Baby, this is ready. Couple of hours in the freezer, and it's it gonna stiffen up, baby. It's gonna be just like that ice cream you buy at the grocery store, baby. See, now did I, did I mention it was old fashioned ice cream? Take a little time, but if you're making dressing, a barbecue, it's gonna take a little time. It's not a quick thing, it's not a quick fix. So, what I suggest you do, make your custard. The day before, okay? Go ahead and hook that custard up. Let it cool down. Put it in the fridge. Then you come back the next day. And you ready to make ice cream, baby. Come back the next day. Two-day process. Make that ice cream. Make your custard the first thing that morning. Go ahead and let it cool down in three four hours. Throw it in the fridge and forget about it. Get up the next morning. Don't have to be early. Be 12, whatever time you want. Once this thing cooled down, take 30, 35 minutes for it to make ice cream, okay? So once you get through with that custard, and make sure you got everything cooled down, then you ain't got long before you get ice cream, baby. We're going to clean this up a little bit. And we're going to throw it in the freezer for a couple hours. Then we're going to come back and show you what it looks like after it froze, okay? Don't go nowhere. Stay with us. All right, baby. We got homemade, old-fashioned ice cream. Right here, this is what it looked like after the sod in the freezer about six hours. Got a few pecans on that. So you can make this your own, whatever you want to do. A few pecans on that. See how them peaks holding up? Over here, we're going to put a little chocolate on that. We got a little chocolate ganache. We're going to put a little chocolate ganache on that. Now, you know this ice cream, we can't sit out all day, okay? It, it will do what it do. It will melt, okay? But after six hours... This is basically what you get, okay? You get the ice cream like you get at the grocery store, except you don't have all the chemicals that the grocery store have in there, okay? All right, we're going to taste this. Here you go, son. What you want, chocolate or pecan? Chocolate. I want pecan. That's your favorite. Yes, that's my favorite. <laughs> Look how stiff that stuff is, baby. I don't. I, I do not like pecans. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 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 Now, did I mention it was old-fashioned ice cream? Just go way back, you know, when your parents, grandparents would make it. This is not that one or two item. You don't cook no eggs. You just get the whole package of the baby. You make the custard the day before. Let it cool down. Throw it in the freezer once it cool down. Just let it stay there. Forget it. 12, 13 hours. Take it out. Okay, you ready to the second phase? You ready to go to the ice cream maker now? Put it in the ice cream maker, put your salt, put your ice in there. Your salt, ice, salt, you know, rotate that thing out. What the salt do, does is keep the ice cold, okay? So that's what you want to do. 30 minutes in the ice cream maker, this is what you get. Look at that, baby. Mm. That's homemade. What do you think, son? 100 out of 100. Mm hmm. Look, on a hot summer day, 
Where it is in Mississippi. Think about 88 degrees in Mississippi now. You get a good bowl of this, baby, this is gonna cool you down, okay? Now, have you subscribed already? If you have, put your way now. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you give this. Wait, wait. Hit that subscribe button. If you like what you see, please like. If you like it enough, then share the thing, okay? Just when you hear brain freeze, stop eating it, please. But hit that subscribe button, baby. It ain't no sense you wait. It, it just gonna get bad and better. You don't hit the subscribe button, you're gonna miss the batter. But the batter is coming. Every time we do it, it gets better and better. Hit the subscribe button, baby. Go ahead and do it, it now. Like hit that button. Okay? We'll definitely appreciate it. You get a notification every time Charles is in the kitchen. When Charles is in the kitchen, <laughs> listen, you need to be in the kitchen. Okay? We're going to be back next week with another fantastic dessert. So stay tuned. Stay tuned to everything sweet with Charles. We bring in the sweet, baby. Okay? All right. Time next week. <laughs> we out of here.